Hey, this is Matt at Rapid Creek Cidery, um, talking about one of the more iconic southern dishes, uh, shrimp and grits. Something that I've made on and off for years, a lot of chefs have, and at least here in the Midwest, maybe some people don't really know its origins, and I thought I would talk a little bit about that today. The story of shrimp and grits is really a story about Bill Neal, who's a chef from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Um, I grew up in Raleigh and Chapel Hill as well. Um, he, he was one of the first chefs in the South to really take Southern cooking into kind of an academic uh, direction, talk about uh, cultural importance, micro-regionality. Um, he wasn't a trained chef, chef, but in like 78, I might have some of these dates wrong, but in 78, um, he and his wife went to work at a place called La Residence in rural um, Orange County, which is in outside of Chapel Hill. Um, and he did a great job there. He got a lot of attention. My mom and dad used to drive there from Raleigh, which is about 40 minutes away with their friends. They were in kind of an eating and drinking club. Um, and I remember hearing about it a lot when I was a kid. Um, and then in the early 80s, he, uh, he moved into Chapel Hill, downtown Chapel Hill, and opened a place called Crook's Corner. That was 82, I think. And then 85, the New York Times, uh, took notice uh, and that's where it all kind of blew up and shrimp and grits was one of the things they wrote about so shrimp and grits originally was a fisherman's breakfast kind of low country southern north carolina and um, coastal south carolina a lot of obvious history there uh, with the grits um, and uh, shrimp coming right off the boats um, and he took that and kind of did his own thing with it nothing too uh, out there you know it's got uh, bacon and mushrooms and lemon juice and uh, there was a few really notable chefs who worked for him at uh, Crooks. Uh, Bill Smith who went on to become the chef at Crooks for 25 years maybe, sorry Bill if that's wrong, and uh, John Currents who um, has a great two great two or three great places in um, Mississippi. Obviously everybody here does their own sort of version of that dish at some point. What's really cool is I have known Bill Smith for years uh, who took over Crooks. Um, Bill Neal died in 91 um, and that was a big shock to people because it's amazing to think of the things he could be doing still. Bill Smith was nice enough to give me the original recipe recently um, and I thought it was funny because he kind of gave me a list of things that people have kind of done wrong over the years with it in terms of some recipes people add some stock some recipes people add this or that and he said that's just not how it was ever made he even said in the note that uh, Bill Neal sometimes uh, recorded as saying that there was nutmeg in the recipe and Bill Smith was like that that that's not true he never did that so that's kind of interesting you know talking about how recipes change and evolve so I remember being uh, probably 20 years old and living in Chapel Hill and we would go to um, Crook's Corner and I think I must have had shrimp and grits for the first time there, kind of, which makes sense because it's the original place. Uh, but I always thought it was just such a, I guess at that age I was just starting cooking and to me it was such a odd thing. I was like shrimp, and, shrimp with grits and I, I remember thinking that it wasn't something I had seen before. Um, and never really trying it for several years. Um, but we made it home on and off for a while there. And I realized that it, the recipe's not really even in Bill Neal's book, Southern Cooking. Um, so I was really glad to get Bill Smith to send me the recipe. But um, when me and my friends started uh, cooking professionally in, in uh, Ch uh, Chapel Hill, um, you definitely would see it on menus, but also it wasn't as much as you wanted to see it on menus because you loved it as a dish. You'd go in some place and if they had shrimp and grits, there'd be different, you know, what's their version, what's their version. Um, but some people were kind of afraid to put it on menus at that point because it was so iconic to Bill, Neil, and to um, the restaurant itself. Um, and I do remember my mom and dad making it a few times at home after they went out to eat uh, here and ate that. Um, and that was always delicious too because when your parents make something, it's always great. And then when I came out to Iowa, I actually started seeing it on menus sometimes around here. So it's really interesting to see how far it's come. It's, it is something you see in the South a lot um, at you know higher end places, kind of dolled up. Um, but it's a great simple dish. Um, and like I say, all these people probably have their own versions. I worked at Magnolia Grill with the Barkers for, um, for a number of years before I moved out here. They, of course, had their own version of, sure, um, of that as well. So what was so important about what 
Bill Neal was doing was, it, you know, when the New York Times came down and wrote about him um, in 85 or whatever it was, uh, you know, no one had taken Southern cooking seriously. Southern cooking was barbecues and, you know, pots of greens. Um, and this was the first time that someone took things like shrimp and grits, and, you know, and put them on kind of a white tablecloth menu um, to give it to give it the weight and the credit that it really deserved. Um, so that was the first real blow up of Southern cooking nationally. Um, it really became something after that in terms of being visible, people taking from it from different parts of the United States, m making their own things that were Southern. Um, and that, that wouldn't have happened without Bill Neal. And so um, it's a really important jump step at that point for um, Southern cooking. Anyway, it's a great dish. It's easy to make at home. It's like six or seven ingredients. Make sure you get some good shrimp, make sure you get some good grits. We use um, grits from uh, Early Morning Harvest, uh, which is an Iowa farm. I think you might be able to find those at uh, New Pioneer Co-op or something like it. Um, and beyond that, it's a quick, quick mix on the stove. So it's, it's a great midweek dinner or a weekend uh, show off dinner as well. So give it a shot. And uh, if you have any questions about these books or these chefs, reach out to me at Rapid Creek. I'm happy to talk to you. Thanks.